Hi everyone, this is Lorraine Chatelaine Makes, and this is a Come Open With Me video. I got some Happy Mail, which was an uh, acquisition, and uh, this is take two, so it's already out of the package, and um, I want to share it with you. So here is what I got. I have the Crochet, crochet Creatures of Myth and Legend. Uh, 19 Designs, Easy Cute Critters to Legendary Beasts, and it is by Megan Lapp. This is the book um, that uh, Antoinette from 2OG's, actually it's from Hook and Stitch and Island style now, that she uh, did one of these projects with. So here's the front. Sorry if there's any glare. And... Here is the back. So on the back it has uh, a right up and then it has three of the patterns that you can make that's in the book. Okay, so when you open up the book, here is what's on the inside page. So that is one of the patterns. Here is another one. Then we have the uh, index and introduction. So we have the index over here with the patterns and the bigger pictures on the bottom and then the introduction. And then it talks about materials that you'll need. So, uh, yarn and hook, uh, safety eyes, glossary of terms and stitches. That's two pages of that. Actually, three. And then we get into cute critters. So here is Else Wingless Griffin. I hope I pronounced that right. The other page, page just tells you, uh, gives you a little write up the size, approximate size, and that is if you use the same uh, fat, uh, yarn that is that they use in the pattern. Uh, materials that you need. Okay, then it gives the instructions. So, just a quick one of that, step by step. So then we have an alicorn. Instructions. Uh, cockatrice. I guess this is a combination of a cockatoo. So hopefully you can see that. And the finished. have a dragon a gargoyle A griffin, a hippogriff, Jackalope, a 
Pegasus. Phoenix. Unicorn. So there are more than one unicorn in this book. But here is one simple one. This is a Wolpertinger. Wolpertinger. And a Wyvern. So hopefully these are being shown pretty good because I can't I can't see all the time then we go into cute critter parts so it lets you decide on what kind of um, limb you want or uh, a body And it has the different uh, patterns and then the different heads. Okay. So this book, uh, I got this book from Mary Maxim. And I used, I got the book when they had their 30% off one item coupon so I did not pay full price and uh, I believe it's also uh, available on um, Amazon I'm pretty sure okay then we have standard size creatures I like this one this one here I like that one's cute and so the unicorn I was talking about, the other one, so here's the, the bigger one. Okay, so then we have the dragon. So this one here gives you the different styles that you can make. And I haven't decided what pattern I'm going to do first. I'm still working on my knitted sweater. I did finish it, and it was that one was too big, so I had enough yarn. I started to do a second one for, her. and I've sold the first one. Quite a few pages for that 
for that last pattern I showed you, the dragon. And then it gives you different directions for different uh, scales. And the wings. I think that's the longest pattern. Oh, here's a nice picture. Okay, then we have the Kraken. Okay, and a feathered serpent. Al Griffin. And the Phoenix. This is what I think of when I think of the Phoenix. This one is. Yeah, this is the last one, the unicorn. A bigger unicorn with a big mane. Okay, so that is Insight to Crochet Creatures of Myth and Legend by Megan, pa uh, Megan Lapp. Okay, and she has a bunch of other ones. I was looking up books from her, and uh, she, there are some nice, interesting pattern books. Whew, I'm warm. Okay, so I hope you that, that I hope that uh, you um, liked my little "Come Open with Me" segment on that book. And um, if you have that book or um, made any of those uh, patterns, please let me know in the description box down below. I'd like to, uh, to hear from you. And until next time, this is Lorraine Chatelaine Meg saying, don't forget to stop and smell the coffee and the flowers. Bye for now.